Mead is an alcoholic beverage produced by fermented honey along with grains, hops, and other fruits and spices. Mead has been produced all over the world since ancient times throughout Europe, Africa, parts of Asia, all over. I even think Friar Tuck was making mead. And today is the day that I finally get to try the sparkling mead from JJ's Craft Brewing Company coming out of Ireland. This is their beautiful sparkling mead. Now I have to say, this is some of the most attractive bottle packaging that I think I've ever seen. The, the simple honeycomb design in gold, it's really classy, it's really pretty. 3.8% gluten-free, a product of Ireland. Simple ingredients, water, wildflower, honey, and yeast. It does not get any simpler than that. 120 calories per bottle. And I wanted to say what's great about this is that this is something that dieters and athletes alike can have. Be able to get an amazing, refreshing beverage. That's a little bit boozy. So it is suggested that the sparkling mead be enjoyed in a champagne flute. My God, look at that already. I can hear it. Ginny the Beer Queen is also a big fan of champagne and Prosecco. So any chance I can have to have a sparkling ale, a sparkling rosé, or even like a Brut IPA, I'm always gonna go for it. So it's a great segue beverage for wine drinkers and champagne drinkers alike. Let your bartender know. Nice clear color. I've never seen a mead that was completely translucent. Um, usually meads will have a slightly um, light brown color to it. One of my favorite meads to drink is an Ethiopian and Etrian beverage called Tej. I have not been able to find another mead from any brand or anywhere else that could compare to that mead that I had at the Ethiopian restaurant. So I'm looking forward to something that's really got that strong honey taste. I think JJ's gonna be able to do it. Mmm, smells really flowery, very, very floral. Cheers. Oh. Wow. The taste of honey, it's it's very it's very present. I'm definitely not disappointed with that at all. Sometimes I've had honey beers that are supposed to have a nice honey um, hint to it and they don't. Not a clover honey, certainly not a manuka honey, but this is a really high quality honey that they're starting out from and I can I can taste it right away. It won't stop bubbling. I want this for Easter. New Year's, and pretty much every other day of the week. I think this is something that can easily be paired with almost any light meal. I think this is a mead that you can make great mimosas and, or bellinis with. I would totally drink this in a house. I would totally drink this with a mouse. I would drink this here and there. I would drink this anywhere. Blossom Gate, you guys are rocking it out. I can't wait until we see more of this. Definitely going on my top 20 of 2020 beer list.